In this video, we will show you how to do your oil change on this Honda Accord with a 2.4 liter engine. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you have the proper amount of 5W20 oil and your brand new oil filter. Make sure you're on a flat even surface. We will have to get underneath the vehicle. Before we do so, let's make our way under the hood to the oil cap. Go ahead and turn that counterclockwise to remove it from the engine. Have a look at the gasket. Make sure it's not torn, worn, or damaged in any way. This one looks fine. We'll set it aside. Now you can safely raise and support the front of your vehicle so you can make your way underneath. From under the vehicle, we'll be looking just above your engine oil pan. Along the back side of the engine, you can see that oil filter sitting up there. Ours is blue. Go ahead and turn that counterclockwise to remove it. Oil will come down, so make sure you have your collection bucket under this area. Remove the oil filter and drain it into your collection bucket. Once the oil slowed to a trickle in this area, use a clean rag. We'll make sure that we have the area nice and clean so we can give it a thorough inspection. Make sure the engine block isn't damaged in any way and also make sure that some of the original existing gasket isn't still in place. This needs to be clean and free of any debris. Before you can install your brand new oil filter, it's important to make sure you prepare it. What I mean by that is we have to prime the oil filter by putting a little bit of clean oil directly in the center here. We don't need to top it off because when we do install this, it will be sideways. Now that I've done that, I'll take a gloved finger, take a little bit of that clean oil and just put it right around this gasket. Let's install this in the vehicle. Start your oil filter on by hand, snug it up and then give it one full extra turn with your filter wrench. Double check to make sure that's nice and tight. Now we can come straight down from that area. Along the bottom of your oil pan is where you're going to find your engine oil drain plug. Use a 17 millimeter to remove this plug. Now when this does come out, oil will come out as well and it may come out a little rearward, so make sure you're standing clear. While that finishes draining, have a look at your drain plug. You should find that you have your gasket on there. If it's not on the drain plug, it could have fallen into the bucket or possibly still stuck on the oil pan. Either way, you wanna make sure that you remove it and it's a good idea to replace it. Just wipe down that. Quick inspection on that drain plug. Install our new gasket. Now let's pay attention to the engine oil pan. We wanna clean down the mating surface. As you're cleaning this, make sure you are not pushing anything into the engine. At this point, you could continue waiting for this to finish draining. It'll take a while because the oil will make its way down into the oil pan over time. Assuming you're at a slow trickle like we are, we'll continue on by reinstalling our drain plug. Snug it up and then torque that to 33 foot pounds. Confirm that everything's tightened and torqued as needed, and then clean up your mess. Let's make our way back up into the engine compartment. Let's put a funnel in the valve cover. Continue on by adding four and a half quarts of 5W20 oil. Let's 
Let's reinstall the oil cap. The next thing that you'll want to do is make your way into the passenger compartment. Start up the vehicle, let it run for a little bit, turn it right back off. Make your way back out here and check your oil level with the engine oil dipstick. Take hold of that dipstick and fully remove it from the engine and give it a quick wipe. Now that we have it out of there, you want to pay close attention to the very end of the dipstick. You'll find that you have two dots. The oil level needs to be anywhere in between the two dots, preferably up close to the upper dot. Anything above the upper dot, you need to drain some. If you're low or below the lower dot, you need to add a little bit. Looking at this, I can tell it's at the perfect level, right in between those two dots. Okay friend, we showed you how to do the oil change on your vehicle. At this point, you want to start it up one more time. Double check for oil leaks. Assuming it looks good, take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.